नमस्ते एंड वेलकम टू द प्रोटीन सीरीज टुडे वी डू द थर्ड रैप अप वीडियो एंड वी कवर ऑल द एफ एक्स दैट माय टीम हैज कलेक्टेड सो द फर्स्ट वन इज दैट इफ प्रोटीन इज सो गुड और इम्पॉर्टेंट वाई इज मोर नॉट बेटर आई वुड लाइक टू रिमाइंड यू दैट द anabolic ceiling is real just because you ate a lot of protein your body will not be able to spare all the protein that you have eaten for growth repair and maintenance work in fact adding protein to your plate at the cost of not eating grains or fruits or vegetables or millets is suboptimal because it then begins to compromise on the digestibility of your amino acids or the digestibility of proteins and the best way to get more protein from the food that you have eaten is through what is called as the whole food matrix whole food matrix means that you eat wholesome food which is local seasonal traditional you eat it in time tested combinations and you eat it in a diverse manner How can ghar ka khana or vegetarian food be sufficient for my protein needs? Well, I already told you that this whole overemphasis on one nutrient, protein, is simply business and marketing as usual. It is really not difficult for our body to receive, digest, assimilate amino acids from the ghar ka khana. You really don't need to do anything special to get more protein from the food that you are eating. but the marketing of the food industry makes you believe that if you don't keep adding protein sources and downloading viral videos on how to get 25 grams of protein per meal etc you're going to fall short on protein but that is really not the case the food industry has pitched high protein food today in the exact same position that they had pitched low fat food a decade ago this is simply good for profits bad for people worse for the planet what is the impact of eating non veg food on an individual's health and on planet's health well india's cultural traditions already account for sustainability we have tradition of eating meat fish and egg as a part of our wholesome diet it is not at the cost of eating rice or chapatis or vegetables or fruits or nuts or seeds so the practice of eating it in a manner which is well within our ecological means is a part of our cultural heritage so we don't need to give up on eating non veg we need to give up on the greed for protein eat it in time tested manner and then whether you are veg or non veg you will more than be adequate on your protein requirements and your body will be able to have the protein sparing effect do our protein requirements change as we age well the answer is yes and the ones who need protein the most are the young and adolescents children at growing age and of course again the seniors people above the age of 60 these are the two age groups where meeting protein requirements becomes very very critical when it comes to children make sure that they have adequate access to nutritious food through diverse sources that is really the key in ensuring that they meet their protein requirements and with that put a complete end or at least strictly regulate the ultra processed food products that they eat whether it is cola whether it is chips whether it is chocolates whether it is caffeinated energy drinks all of this needs to be removed from their plate so that they have adequate access to amino acids and every single nutrient from the food that they are eating at home now when it comes to seniors digestion is a little compromised digestion is a little compromised not just because of age but also because of lack of activity so in seniors it becomes that much more important to exercise regularly at least 3 times a week so that the body stays in good shape to break down and assimilate protein from the food that we are eating will i get benefit of exercise if i don't take a protein shake Yes absolutely you can benefits of exercise are not uh, you know constrained by your protein shake 
benefits of exercise come to all those who exercise regularly who optimize their muscle fiber recruitment and um, who eat well who sleep on time who don't smoke and drink and generally lead an active life and also go to bed on time so to get all the benefits out of exercise what you need is a more commonsensical approach towards your day-to-day -to -day life and not really a protein shake remember the things that come in the way of protein assimilation are being on a very restricted diet whether it is on calories whether it is on the eating window or whether it is on diversity so those are the things that you need to be watching out for and you simply need to go back or reboot your life to more commonsensical eating and living practices so that one can actually thrive with good health thank you very much for watching and bye bye